What's up, homies? It is your homegirl, Natalie. Welcome to my styling 2022 spring trends video. I want to style these trends with the things I have in my wardrobe because most of the time, if you look deep enough into your closet, you probably will find something that goes along with the so-called trends. So for this one, I thought it would be a little bit different if I could do something where I just kind of put everything into categories and see if I can make one outfit with a bunch of trendy things. I guess see like if I could build myself the ultimate trendy outfit out of my wardrobe. I found like a website that I could just like get like a random picker thing from. So that's what we're gonna do. So for the first outfit, we have pleated skirts, hyper feminine, and neon pink. So let's talk about those trends first. So springtime, yes, pleated skirts, of course, that's something I'm gonna see. And I think this goes along with maxi skirt also. I know I definitely have this in my wardrobe. There isn't any type of like specific style of pleated skirt. Like I'm seeing leather and like shiny and printed stuff and colorful things. That is definitely something that I see come and go. I remember like maybe back in 2017, 16, that was like really, really big, the pleated skirt. And it was like a specific style though. Okay, next is hyper feminine. This is something that like, I have a lot of like cutesy clothing items in my wardrobe, but in terms of like feminine, I don't. Uh, or the examples that I see here is mostly like pink and pastels. And I know I see a lot of that in other like YouTube styling videos of like, you know, they have like a white satin dress or like a white poofy dress or something like that. And that's for me, I think it screams like very feminine. This is something that I actually want to try to potentially make. I don't know, I feel like we've seen for the longest time ruffles or like tiered ruffle dresses like really big puffy sleeve dresses and that's been going on for like a couple of years now already um, so I don't think it's something that's going to be dying down very soon. With the whole hyper feminine, obviously ruffles, sheer comes to mind, pastels. My mind just always goes into Japanese fashion. I feel like I've said this already. So that's probably the way I'm going to interpret it, I guess. <laughs> And next, neon pink, of course. I think neon pink is something that normally comes up during the summertime because it's such a great color to wear for the summertime. Wondering like what is going to be like in trend for summertime. To me, I feel like neon pink seems like a summer staple, if anything. Let's see what kind of outfit I could come up with. I guess what I should do is let's do the talking portion right now. I am just kind of going as is, you know, sidebar. I've been really in my head about making videos and making content and overthinking. Being a perfectionist also lends to procrastination. And a lot of it is overthinking of like, well, I don't know when's the right time. I don't know. And I was like, Natalie, just get your camera out. Just start filming. Join me as I go along in terms of how I want to film this video. But okay. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep picking out things and we could talk about it. And then I could just focus on making the outfits for it. So remember how I was saying I, I definitely have pleated skirts? I don't. And the reason is I actually got rid of all of them in my last closet clean out. If I cannot do a pleated skirt, the other thing I feel like the pleated skirt tied into was like a maxi skirt. So I'm gonna go with that option instead because I do have a bunch of maxi skirts. So because we are doing hyper feminine, we're thinking of pinks and neon pink is one of the items that I need to use so I think that's probably a good thing to go with pretty self-explanatory then I'm gonna go with this I mean it has the ruffles right it's feminine it has the neon pinkness um so yes I think we just have to go with this I'm really happy with this outfit. I think the overall effect of the hyper feminine is there. Although we didn't have the pleated skirt, I think the skirt did just as great. I added in these chunky crushed velvet shoes because as later in the video, we'll be talking about platforms. So I just thought it was appropriate. To drive the color pink story even further, I just added in my big pom-poms and a neon scarf to my hair. I literally just did a ponytail tied this long scarf and just wrapped it around to make a huge bun. And I think it turned out a lot better than I expected. <laughs> Feathers, bucket hats, oversized sunglasses. There's only one thing that I consider has like feathers, I guess, in my wardrobe and it's black. And I see bucket hats. This is going to be interesting. All right, so let's go into feathers. 
It's like, I really, really wanted this for such a long time. I remember seeing these one pair of pants that Hwasa from Mamamoo was wearing and they're ding da ding da And I was like, yo, I wanna see if I could make myself some, but I could never find like where I can find ostrich feather trim. I think what that really started off with was more so like the fur lined items that we have probably during like winter time. And then now feathers are coming more into play. Okay, next thing is bucket hats. Honestly, not surprised of course, because the sun is gonna be in your faces. So you need something to protect your face. I wasn't anyone that was like really into like sun hats or bucket hats. You know me, I'm a beret girl through and through, but I think because the bucket hat at least started straying less of like the hype beast kind of like style into more of the colorful and you know funky prints and patterns that we have now. I think when I started seeing that shift, that's when I was like, oh, okay this is something I would like to potentially try out. A good pro of trends is the fact that when things come back into trend, you get to see it reimagined. And to me, that's what happened with the bucket hat because you would not see me dead in a bucket hat way back when because it just didn't fit with my style. But now the colors and the patterns and the prints that we're seeing now do go with my style. So that's why I do actually have um, a couple in my wardrobe now. Oversized sunglasses, yes! I mean, of course, that's basically reminiscent of the 60s. I actually don't have a whole lot of oversized sunglasses here because I couldn't find any like cute ones here, like square framed, if anything. Here you could see more like just big circular ones. I was someone that really, really tried the whole like those like micro little sunglasses, but I know I never wore out. I feel like maybe it didn't look the best on me, but I always love oversized sunglasses. <laughs> I don't know what to do because this is the only thing that I have that kind of, you know, roughly has some type of feathers, but my bucket hats are colorful. I do have this one black one, but I just feel like it doesn't fit with springtime. I think it's more like colorful stuff. We're gonna go with this green one because the other bucket I have is this one, but I feel like the colorful one and this feather would look too weird. I'm gonna try to see if I can pair this with a skirt. All right, I am very, very pleasantly surprised. There's some green in there. So I guess that's why it goes with my hat. This looks really weird. Like, where is this girl going? I think what I should probably do is wear maybe like a green cardigan to kind of pull the green elements, like green, green, and then green. I don't know, wish me luck, y'all. This looked like if this was gonna work out in my brain, but this does not work out. Where is this girl going? Um, <laughs> this is when you have a picnic at two and you need a sun hat for, uh, you know, protection from the sun. And then a first day at 5 p.m. and need a cardigan to keep you warm from the chilly night. <laughs> I, I don't know, girl, I, I was trying, okay? There's a part of me that's like, girl, no. But then another part of me that's like, girl, I guess. <laughs> Overall, this video is just to get me and hopefully you just to play and have fun with your wardrobe. So I think that's what I did with this look. Next three items, platform anything, baby tees, and two large bags. Large bags, shoot, thank God, because I carry a lot of things anyways. I'm really excited to see what they have in Korea because I know bags, if anything, that's something that I can find here. Next one is baby tee. Now I have a thing with like paying a lot of money for a baby tee because I'm like, that's like half a shirt. Why am I paying full price for a half a shirt? So my little suggestion to anyone that's like, oh, I have a t-shirt. I ain't trying to buy like baby tees or whatever. Just do the thing that I taught you guys in my 30 styling tips video, which is the, just put it underneath your bra. Like that's what I do to a lot of my shirts. And they're like, hey, how'd you make that into a crop top? How'd you? The other half is in my bra. As someone who wears a lot of high-waisted everything, baby tees, I love them, of course, because it just goes with the style of clothing that I like to wear. And the next one, platform anything. I mean, I already told you, I love me some platforms. I only have like one, one true pair of like platform boots. But yes, I would love to get my hands on those like platform Mary Janes. Those would be so cute. I love platform anything. As a shorty, I got I got to be wearing my platforms. Again, like I'm just really excited to see more of this hit the regular mainstream brands so that other people can afford them like me. So um i do actually have like a little baby tee because it's literally for a baby but i bought it because i was like i can shimmy myself into this into this size 140 but it's literally a child so i guess 
this is legit baby so <laughs> let's go with that initially i was gonna pair it maybe with like a pleather skirt but i guess to go with more of what's in trend right now i know green is really big so i think we should do that instead this green skirt this is not very mini but maybe i could like fold it in or something so i flipped my tee into my bra i have on my platform boots so I think we're good to go. Whenever I wear these platform boots and pair it with something black and pleather, it just always takes me back to my middle school scene girl phase. Literally wearing this with like a Grateful Dead shirt, yes. I wish I could have looked like this back then. <laughs> Oh, and then I also forgot about the big bag, so I just threw one on at the end. Does it go together? No-ish. I mean, there's some green, but I think maybe like a huge green or black pleather bag would have been better. But again, we're working with what we have. Oh, okay. We got strap it up. So a lot of strappy tops the color purple and ultra mini minis. This is gonna be a fun one. Strap it, um, so it's basically a lot of tops with like just strap accents on it. And I think this is obviously coming from like the bralettes, the crochet tops, like all of that has straps in it anyways. I think that probably would be kind of like an easy thing to try to DIY. <laughs> My only thing with like strap stuff is like, I wear a 32E, which is a 32 double D, and like, God, I really don't wanna wear a strapless bra. Is it gonna be holding my boobs? That's always like the biggest problem. I think I need to probably invest in like some good boob tape. Okay, next is the color purple. Thrifting video that I did with Karina asked up on this one dress that was like this really cute purple. And then someone in the comments was like, that's the Pantone color of the year, very Perry. And ever since then, like that stuck in my head that every time I see this color, I was like, it's the Pantone color of the year, very Perry. So obviously like no surprise to see it here in terms of like what's being trendy. Purple, yes, of course. Again, like I've told you guys in previous videos, I have been so happy with how much purple I am just accumulating in my wardrobe. And the ultra mini, mini, minis. Yes, faux show. The mini skirt has been making its way from fall time to winter time to now time, of course. The only thing with that is that I always have to wear safety shorts underneath because again, I'm walking a lot. So I'm always scared that there's gonna be like a creep or something like that. That kind of leads me to like potentially, you know, skirts should be making their way back because this way you can wear your little mini skirt, but you still got your shorts right there. So you feel like protected. I don't have too many mini skirts, but as I am, on the shorter side so it would lengthen my legs a little bit more only mini skirt that like i really truly have is that blue one that i already showed in the last styling video and i was like oh can i show it again okay so for strappy stuff obviously i have to pick out something that my sister made this is one of the crochet tops that she made and then i was thinking maybe to pair it with this purple top which you already saw but then i was like what if i paired it with this but we still want like a mini skirt situation and this has purple in it so we got that covered and then the blue if i wear this skirt again but she could maybe work um i i don't know whether it's like maybe this needs to be all the way up here so it's kind of like makes sense or is it okay that it's opened this is very, I don't know, but we're gonna go with it. I'm debating whether to either wear the blue boots I have or the purple boots that I have. So I guess y'all will see in the next clip. <laughs> Remember what I said earlier, this is just to play with your wardrobe. Yeah, that is what your girl is doing. So do not come for me for this outfit, okay? However, again, I'm kind of like, is it a miss? Is it a hit? I don't know, the jury's still out on that one. I will say, I guess for me, it's like a soft hit, a baby, baby soft hit. There are some things that I wish I could change, like the strap of the bralette. If it was like purple or blue, this would have worked totally better. But nonetheless, with this outfit, I really tried hard to think outside the box and try something new. So I'm proud of myself for that.
Okay, and the last two items um, that haven't been picked are shears and neon green. I have been loving me green, okay? And I do actually have a lot of vibrant green in my wardrobe. At first, sometimes I was a little bit worried about wearing more like highlighter like color, like that neon, neon green color. But actually, you know what? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> so when I think of shears, I always think of just Japanese fashion because they're really into layering. So they use a lot of items that are sheer. It is so layerable. I don't know if that's a word. Like actually the other day I wore a dress and I was like, oh, I don't feel like it's probably the right time to be showing all of this right now. I'm sure when I go inside the place, there's gonna be air conditioning and I'm gonna be cold again. So just having the sheer top, it's like, it's having a top without having like a true top. <laughs> For our last look, the sheer and neon green, just one thing comes to mind to encapsulate everything and that is, there she is in all her beauty. This dress is from Monkey. I got it when I was traveling and I was like, oh, I gotta get it. And I think I'm just gonna pair it with like the platform black boots. So it also adds another like element of uh, the 2022 spring trends and then that's it. No, not it. I ended up putting a couple more accessories to tie it all together. I tried really hard not to wear my mitt headband again. So instead I went with this newsboy cap because um, by that time my hair was feeling oily and flat. <laughs> to make the outfit a bit more fun, I added in these disco ball earrings and lastly added in the oversized sunglasses from a previous outfit that I forgot to add. This outfit is giving me a very like I don't know, it's kind of retro-ish, maybe because of the disco ball or I don't know, maybe just the style of the dress, but I really like it. I think this is really cute and fun. So anyways, that is it for this video, homies. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I um, hope you enjoyed like this different take on my trendy clothing with my wardrobe type of videos. Yeah, let me know which outfit was your favorite. Let me know if there's some trends you're really excited to try out or not excited to try out. I think what I also wanna do is like kinda have maybe some like my favorite like spring staples, which you already know was gonna be on this, that purple jumpsuit. <laughs> Cause I've been wearing it all the time. So I hope this video finds you safe. Hope you're doing well and I will catch you in the next one. Bye. Yay, Abby, we're done. Woo! Yay, 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 yay. Abby, up. Yay! Bye bye. Yeah.